In this video, I will show you the best AI anime generators. And I have tested a bunch of these products to save your time. And in this video, I will show you three best anime generators for different use cases. So whether you want to create animations, whether you want to turn yourself into an anime character, copy your movements to it, if you want to make it speak, if you want to do designs, mock-ups, if you want to edit your photos or even upscale the resolution of your photos, I have got you covered in this video. And if you want to try the products I'm mentioning in the video, check the links in the description. But we've got a lot to cover, so let's get started. As the number one AI anime generator, we have Domo AI. This tool allows you to turn anime images into animations. You can copy your movements on a video to an anime character, and you can do video to video stuff and so much more. Let us kick things off with the Domo AI image to animation feature. So once you have signed up, click on the animate tab and then drag and drop an input image into the AI. For example, here is an image that I used. And at this point you could already click generate, but you can also tweak the settings. For example, you can change the duration from three seconds to for example, five to 10 seconds. And also you can choose a different anime model and you can also give it a prompt if you want to specify what kinds of movements you want to see in the video. For instance, I used a custom prompt on this. And if you want to copy paste the prompt on your use case, make sure to check the description of the video because you will find the prompts that I used in this one there as well. Nonetheless, I hit generate and after about five minutes of waiting, here is the result. I mean, isn't that amazing? However, this was just a five second clip. So let's actually try another one and let's make it a bit longer with a different image. So here is the second input image and here is the result that I got back. I mean, come on, isn't that impressive? So it's just a base image Image, and now all of a sudden there is like a 10 second clip where everything is moving around like it was professionally generated or created rather. Then as the next step, I moved on to the video to video generator. This feature allows you to drag and drop a video into Domo AI and it will use AI to turn that video into anime style clip. For instance, here is a random clip that I found online where there is this person talking to a phone. I thought that it would be a cool idea to turn this clip into anime and other cool animation styles. All you need to do is just drag and drop the video into the view and then choose the anime style and then hit generate. There are plenty of styles to choose from, but I chose the illustration V 1.2 as the first step. Then once you're ready, just hit generate. And after about 10 minutes of waiting, here is the AI generated clip of the original video. <laughs> That's pretty amazing, isn't it? And also the character remains pretty consistent. The only thing I notice is that the background changes a bit and also there are some funky things going on with the person's fingers, but this is getting pretty close. Nonetheless, I liked it so much that I had to give a shot to these other anime styles. For example, here is another five second clip that I made of this person talking to a phone with the anime V5.1 model. And here's another clip that I created using the illustration V9 model. And before you use this feature, make sure that your footage is stable and prefer half body shots like for example the person you saw talking to a phone so for instance if you just drag and drop a random clip where there's a lot of shakiness a lot of movement and lots of random things going on the ai is not going to give you that great results for example i wanted to turn this video of myself swimming in a lake into anime but with this one the tool failed miserably because of the things that i just mentioned so use stable and static footage with a video to video generator then as the next step i tried the text to image model and as the name suggests this one allows you to create anime style images from simple text inputs. Just to make it a bit fun, let's actually compare the Domo AI image generator results with the ChatGPT results. So first, I just told Domo AI to create an image of anime. Very descriptive, huh? And it actually created a bunch of images and here's the one that I liked the most. That's impressive. But now let's actually try this on ChatGPT. 
So I told ChatGPT as well to create an image of anime and here's what it gave me. And also this is pretty cool. I think this is almost just as good as the one that I got from Domo AI. But after running a couple of tests, I figured out that, okay, Domo AI specializes in anime and their anime image generator is just simply a lot better than the ChatGPT, which is more like a generic image generator. Then I also wanted to try out the character move feature. So this allows you to shoot a video, for example, of yourself and then translate that video onto your anime character and that character will do your movements. For example, here is a short dance clip that I found online. Now I would like to add those dope movements on my anime character. So to do this, all you need to do is choose the move feature and then drag and drop the video onto the left hand side and the anime character on the right hand side and then just wait. After about eight minutes of waiting, here is the result that I got back. And to be fair, that's not quite what I anticipated. But once again, I think that there were a bit too many things going on in that initial clip. So let's see if I give it a simpler input video, for example, a person that is walking in slow motion. And once again, I dragged and dropped the video on the left hand side and the anime character on the right hand side. And after about 10 minutes of waiting, here is the result. That is so much closer to what I wanted from it. And it's almost perfect. But to be honest, the character consistency seems to break a bit. So if you take a look at the clothing and the hands, it is just a bit out of place from time to time. However, I think that this is pretty close already. And if you want to find better examples, that is if you want to learn how to optimize your footage, how to take the right kinds of videos and shots for this to work the best, make sure to check the description because there I have also left a link to the community showcase page. Then one thing you also need to know about Domo AI is that these models and these features that I just showed you are just a tip of the iceberg because there is this app library where they're adding new apps all the time. And for example, there you can find solutions such as an image upscaler. And for example, what this means is that it takes an input image that is low in resolution or a small, and it will then spit out a high resolution image for you in just a matter of minute or two. For example, here is an anime character, but the image quality isn't that good. And I asked the AI to convert this into a higher resolution. And here's what I got back after two minutes. So that's pretty incredible. Then as the next AI anime generator, we have ChatGPT. And yes, I know it is obvious for most that you can create images like this using ChatGPT. But that's not the only useful use case that you encounter with ChatGPT. So please bear with me. I will show you a bunch of really cool applications to which you can use ChatGPT when you're creating anime using AI. So let's start with the obvious one. So you can just tell ChatGPT to create an anime image. For example, here I've told the AI to create an anime image of a boy walking in rain during a thunderstorm in a big city. And this looks fantastic. And then one thing you can do is you can specify the specific anime style in which you want to create this photo. For example, here we do recreate the above image in anime shonen style. And here you can see that the style is quite different. And yes, if you pay close attention to this image, you can actually see that the umbrella is kind of messed up. <laughs> so the base is here and then it continues to the backpack of the person and then the umbrella sticks out from the backpack. So this makes no sense. But other than that, this image looks pretty incredible considering it only took like 15 seconds or 30 seconds to create. And then there's just another one. So recreate in Jose anime style. So once again, a similar photo in different anime genre. And then we move on to the next use case. Instead of just creating these photos with ChatGPT, you might actually want to try out different AI tools for creating photos like this. But if you don't know what you write, if you don't know how you create images like this, you can actually ask ChatGPT to create the input for the next tool that you're going to use to create these photos. So for example, I actually asked it here once, but I got a bad result. So I wanted an even more descriptive result. And here it is. So I have told the AI to give me a accurate prompt to create a similar image to these above images as possible. Then I'm even specifying the tool that I want to use to create this image with. So here you actually see that it's a very detailed and a very specific prompt 
that I can now just copy paste from here to, for example, Domo AI that I have opened up right here. And as you can see, it will create me more fantastic results based on this AI generated prompt. So that's the second way you can use AI to create anime or ChatGPT to create anime. And there's the next strategy. This is kind of an unobvious one, but thanks to the recent updates in the OpenAI image generation model, these are just like five, six weeks old updates. You can actually request ChatGPT to edit your photos. And for example, one thing where this can be useful is that if you have a blurry image like this, so for example, if you take like a photo with your mobile device on a magazine where you have some anime photos and you want to transform these to or those to these kind of digital prints, you can just drop the image into the chat and tell to create a sharper version of the image. And here you can see that the AI did exactly that. So now the blurry image is no longer there and I have a much sharper version. But obviously this comes at a cost of accuracy because at the end of the day, at least right now, if you use ChatGPT to edit your photos, you are not going to get the original photo back. Instead, the AI will take this image and it will describe it and analyze it as accurately as possible to create another image. So this is not the same image as the one you just saw here. So this is a slightly different photo. But I think that in cartoon and anime, this can actually work really nicely because the background and the details are not that important. But obviously if you do this for like a real person, it's going to look completely messed up. And then last but not least, you can also in a similar fashion, you can edit these photos. So for example, here I have taken this upscaled or higher resolution image and I have dropped it back into the chat and I am asking to add lightning to the background of the image. And after about a minute or so, here's the new photo. And once again, it's not exactly like this one, but as you can see, it's very close. So this is how you can edit your anime photos using ChatGPT. So you can improve the resolution, you can do some small tweaks and adjustments, you can edit your photos as much as you wish to using ChatGPT. And I think that these are the reasons why ChatGPT is an amazing AI anime generator. And these use cases are something that you might not even think of before you actually see them in action like this. And then as the next AI anime generator, we have Canva AI anime generator. And this is actually a free tool that you can access online. And all you need to do if you want to try this is go to canva.com slash anime AI generator. And you can find a link to this page in the description of the video as well. And this one's very easy to use. So all you need to do is head over to this page, then copy paste or write a description of the image that you want to see here in this text box and then click on generate AI art anime. And then this will take about 20 seconds after which will you will see these amazing AI anime photos. And there you have four sample images. And for example, let's pick this one. And if you click on it, it will add it to this kind of a blank or empty canvas. Right now, you can start to edit this photo and you can start to do some stuff on it. And now the reason why I wanted to include Canva on this video is simply because I don't want to include all these tools that basically do the exact same and that are used in the exact same fashion. So on Canva, if you create anime here, you're going to use it in a very different fashion than, for example, if you're using Domo AI or ChatGPT. And now let me show you what I mean. Well, first and foremost, if you drag and drop your anime image here into this view, one thing you can do is you can click on the image again and you can click on edit. And then you can start to apply these filters to your image. You can erase stuff from the image you can use the magic grab feature to pick stuff from the image. And also one thing that is very common to do is you can remove the background from the image. And actually you can do it from this editor here. So click on the image and click on BG remover and that will remove the background for you nicely. And now obviously you can add animations to this. For example, if you want to do stuff like this or stuff like this, then that's fine. But you can't necessarily make your character speak or do anything like that. So that's what the Domo AI can do for you. But now, but now I think that a super funny use case for this and a super practical one is if you, for example, remove the background or even if you keep the background, you can actually do a mock-up. So if you're designing clothes or mugs or stickers or whatever, you can easily check what it would look like with this print on it. And here's how it works. So you go to this app section on the left-hand side and you can search for mockups. 
Then if you hit enter and click on mockups, and for example, you click on see all, and you click on this image with a mug, the AI will render you this kind of an image where you have your design or your anime character in the mug naturally looking here sitting on the table. And as you saw, there are many options for you to choose from. So for example, instead of a mug, you can also choose this kind of person wearing a shirt and you can place your image there as well. And then you can make your image look larger just to see what it would look like on this person here. Obviously this looks terrible because I have cropped the image to be a rectangle, but as you can see it looks as if this person was actually wearing the shirt with the anime that I just created, which is in my opinion pretty incredible.